This is the DS3. Now where we're driving today is the 1.2 litre, uh, 110 brake horsepower version and it's uh, Elegance I think is the name of the trim in it, which means you get some lovely stuff here and I'll carry on about that in a couple of minutes. We still got a firm suspension setup and you'll probably notice it as I go over even subtle bumps here, it's quite shaky. But apart from that, compare this to the rest in terms of drivability and it's a lot better. The steering is precise, it takes corners quite well and it being a super mini means that it is actually fantastic within cities. Okay, so this is up against the likes of the Audi A1 and some of the range from Mini, like the Mini 1 or something like that, right? In terms of size, in terms of performance, and in terms of even, I suppose you probably get this for a little bit cheaper than you would a Mini, but it's, it's quite expensive if you compare it to, let's say, a Ford Fiesta or something like that. But that, again, is what DS is all about. It's kind of the luxury Citroen, even though they're no longer Citroen. Confused? So am I. Like I will say that I think both Mini and Audi do make kind of a more refined vehicle. However, this is such a great effort by DS and I suppose they had plenty of practice when they were Citroen. It doesn't feel as, let's say, claustrophobic as the DS5. I found that to be very claustrophobic. Everything was wrap around, you know, it kind of reminded me a bit of the Nissan Duke and its claustrophobia. And then the DS4, which was a little bit more airy. It just wasn't really at the race at all. This one here has got a lovely interior. Sadly, no center armrest here for me here to put my arm on. We do have an automatic gearbox here as well, which actually is quite good until you really put the foot down kind of mid-range and it just, you can hear it growl trying to find gears. Now the infotainment, we've seen it before, it's the exact same as you find the other DS's and the graphics are the exact same as what you'd find inside, let's say, any Citroen that's out there. It sits nicely here, there's very few buttons, like I've got a, a volume up, volume down and I've got a menu button there and that's about it. In terms of power, as I said, this is 1.2, um, it gives 110 horsepower and it makes some lovely noises. Now I'm going to briefly put the foot down here. Now, hopefully my sound gear is good enough to pick that up. I have a feeling it might be a little bit synthetic. Now, we are in a super mini, so you're not to expect super space, but trust me, it's easier to sit in an A1 and it's easier to sit in a mini as well. Like my kids, my six-year-old was complaining about leg room. This is gonna come to the market in around 23,100 and something euro. If you want the 82 brake horsepower version, you're looking at 21,000 and something. It is very attractive. I even like the kind of pearlescent coloring that's going on the outside of it too. It's very, very nice. And the back seems longer than it actually is. All in, yeah, it is a nice car. Um, as I said, it's not as refined as what Audi are giving you, and it's not as refined as what Mini are giving you, but it's the best by far from DS. And yeah, I would be happy to kind of recommend it to people. If you're going for a DS, go for the 3. By now you know my spiel. I'm going to turn around to you and say, please like, please share, as well as that subscribe button. And I think I got it right this time. It's over there. Pretty certain of that. Hit it, subscribe. We'll keep you up to date with our videos. We've got loads more coming. We also have how-to videos too. And I know Tim, our camera guy, is going to put a little link up in the top corner of the screen now saying, watch our how-to videos. Go for it. Be good. We'll see you next time at Car Buyer's Guide.